Hello everybody, so I'm going to show you how I made a um, expense tracking sheet for my dad. He's a realtor, so I basically kind of did a small business uh, expense tracker. So let me show you, go to your Google Docs and create a new sheet. I'm going to skip some things like the title of things that don't really matter because program I use to film this only allows me 15 minutes. So bear with me. So I will be going back and forth to the one I already completed just so I can copy things so I don't have to basically type everything all over again. So first step is your title cells. Make sure you have everything you need. This is how we set it up. Um, granted, if things are different for you, just go with how you need it to be. So you have the date, the expenses, the payments you pop, uh, you receive from your small business, and this will be the profit thing. It'll be a running total, and I'll show you how to do that. This is the tax category that you're going to be using, hopefully, for your taxes. And disclaimer, I am not a tax person. I am not an accountant. This is just to help you um, make it a little easier when you get to your tax season if you can't afford any of those expense trackers or if you prefer using Excel. Next here, what did I do? I did, I'm gonna show you why I did this here. I copied this as the first line. Don't enter anything here because your, your beginning for the year should be zero if you're a sm small business for the year, it's zero. Um, and then it'll continue down. Now the formula for this, for this cell right here is, basically going to, what is it? It is D2 minus B3 plus C3, and that's going to give you your running total. So it's your profit minus your expense plus your payments received. And then the next you're going to do is tax categories. I just got a list from online that might be helpful. So you're going to need to make a new sheet and you're going to rename it as tax categories. If I can type. Yeah. And just type everything in there. As I said, I'm doing this a lot quicker. I actually did type all of that in there the first time. Um, I'm just copying and pasting to show you kind of the step by step of what I did. And this is, you could rename this as your expense tracker. 2016, whichever you need to do. So the tax category is you're going to highlight as many cells as you can here. That's fine. You can keep going later after you learn how to do this. Um, you're going to do a data validation, and the list from range is, you're going to go back to your tax categories and highlight the entire list. If you do add anything to it, you're going to need to go back and check that everything is added to it. Make sure everything's right here, that's going to go where you want it to go from where it's pulling from. You can put to display a warning if you'd like, you can put help tax if you'd like, whichever you want. And now here, you can actually pick what your expense was, what your payment was, whatever you need to put. Um, you can click on it, and it'll actually show up of what category it is. You can erase it if you need to. So this, I'm going to just pull all the way down as far as I want. You can always add more later when you need. And for anybody who doesn't know how to do conditional formatting, I'm going to highlight all of them again. And you don't need to do this, but some people like visual things like colors. Um, let's see, where is it here? I know every place is slightly different. Conditional formatting. So it's under format and conditional formatting. Oh, that would make sense. Format. Hello. So just me. So basically what I want here is if, if the, if it's greater than zero, then it's going to show up as green because that means you're profiting that you're making money. And then you add a new rule. 
And if it's less than zero, then you're a negative. So you want that to show that you're a negative. And if you want, for the sake of this, you can put if it's um, equal to zero, then it'll just be black neutral. There you go. So all of these are zeros and how it changes basically. So you spent five dollars on, um, let's see, you use five dollars off ex office expense, but in then, on, wait, on one sixteen sixteen, but on two thirteen sixteen, you made a hundred dollars. Then it, it moves. So it's just gonna go along the way and just keep adding for you, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Just just giving you an idea. You can delete that. And to make this a little prettier, just kind of highlight all the cells again. I know how far I'm going down. Uh, that's fine. So you have everything there. So that should help you. And if you do a wrong expense, just erase it and it'll go away. And you can pick whatever you want you're going for again. Now you can either have it in a separate tab or you can actually have it on the side over here somewhere. You don't really need to see it, so it's whichever way you want to go with that. Just do the validation and um, highlight which cells that you need to actually go under your tax category. And then for mileage, I mean, that's that's pretty easy. Mileage. This one I won't really copy and paste. It's just date, mileage. Oh, no. I think I had date, event, location, mileage, description. Description is basically any notes that you may need. It's not necessary um, for everything, but just to kind of jog your memory if you need to remember what you were doing. Excuse the dog's barking. You can have a running total if you just want to see how it's going. So I would do this. There. It doesn't have to be black and white. I'm just being lazy in my color choices at the moment. And down we go. Uh, just remember for mileage, it should be round trip. If you're just going there and back. And but, you know, if you're going from one place to another to another to another, just make sure you have for your proper records all the mileages, all the mileages, all the miles that you do for that entire day. Just make sure everything's um, done so you're going to have, like, say on the 17th of the month you drove to five different places, then you'll have five or six different lines, you know, once to get back home. <laughs> Excuse me, dogs are fighting right next to me. Okay, so for the running total, you're just going to do some, oops, and you're just going to highlight the entire thing. Great. I was trying to do it before they got crazy. That didn't really work too well. So that's just to show you. That's just going to add everything here. But that's a pretty kind of quick and dirty expense tracker for Excel. If you have any more questions, well, this is what I used for my dad, which is the same thing. All the same thing. Um, if you have any questions on how I made this, I made this from scratch um, with some help from a website regarding the... Um, tax categories, but you can definitely just look up what tax categories you need. And yeah, if you have any questions, put it in the box, in the um, just comment area below. Sorry, I'm literally pushing a dog off of me right now. Have a good one.